Welcome woodworkers of the world to the Swedish knife grip sessions. Now we are doing some more complicated uh, knife grips. We are into grips that are we are cutting towards our body and I would like to tell you about the thumb skew grip which has some variations which I will show you. Very often people know about this grip. This is a very common grip. Many people call this grip for the peeling potato grip, which is a pretty accurate and good word for it. But what many people also forgot to think about is that they are placing the thumb up here on the material and then very easily cut themselves instead of placing the thumb a little below the end of the surface. So the knife has a kind of release when it comes out to the very end, like this. Also a good thing can be to, to tilt away the knife at an angle like this, about 45 degrees, so it starts to slice all the way. You see this slicing helps the motion a lot and makes it cut. It gives you a lot of more power, too. When I'm doing that, I'm actually pushing away the thumb like this at the same time. And you have to notice that my underarm and shoulder are also coming backwards a little at the same time as the thumb is pushing away. So I have a kind of little joint here which is working all the time, like this. I'm also using this um, knife grip when, I'm, when I want to chamfer sharp corners on a piece and for the end grain part. It's exactly the same way I'm tilting the knife 45 degrees away from me and 45 degrees in this position and then I cut like that and here I have to exaggerate the, the power pressing the bevel down to the wood and really coming back with my shoulder like that and this provides pretty good hand strength and if you don't have that please remember your hand strength is going to be much better the more that you carve. You're going to build up muscles in your underarm and your fingers to be able to be more and more controlled and accurate and powerful. So now I'm coming to the end grain here, which can be really tough to carve because it's so hard. So therefore I'm taking good support on, with my hand and my knee here and pressing the bevel and think about my underarm and my shoulder coming back like this, pressing the whole bevel into the wood and if, it, if I can't go all the way I take another stroke, you see I'm coming back with a knife and take another stroke like this and then I can clean cut it fast and efficient. Also, if it's tough, you can rotate both your hand by lifting up your shoulder like this and at the same time rotating the material. And this is almost like turning in a very slow speed that you are rotating. This helps the knife to cut easily, like that. So practice a lot and you will find this a grip really useful for a lot of fine carving and a lot of fine uh, designing of your spoons, for example, or for other objects. So good luck.